Ready? Sound there. Okay, guys, uh, welcome to uh, this next press conference with Dara O'Shea. I'd like to welcome the first question from Guy Havard, please. Guy Havard. Um, yeah, it's been amazing, I suppose. It's kind of been my breakthrough year in football, um, getting in the team at West Brom and signing a new deal and then uh, getting promoted and then eventually uh, making a, making an appearance for, for, for my country. So uh, it's, it's been amazing. It's It's been, I suppose, a, a, a dream year for me. And yeah, I'm just hungry for more now after after getting caps already. Um, I just, just want to continue. Um, yeah, I suppose football football's a game that can change uh can change week in, week out and I think I know that myself, so I've just tried to, to work as hard as possible, um, knowing that if I do get a chance I, I need to take it and obviously in football opportunities don't come by too often so so, so when it arises I, I need to be ready. Um, I suppose yeah. Obviously, playing uh, the three different levels, um, it's been great for my development. Um, each each was a step up. Um, and yeah, I suppose I've just had to work hard for for the opportunities I've been given. Um, they've all been different. Um, again, obviously stepping into the Premier League, the best league in the world, against some of the best players is is, is totally different to the Championship. Um, and then obviously on the international stage again, playing against the the best players in the world, um, has been amazing and. I suppose each step I've taken to uh taken to well so far and I've known that if, if, if I just do what I'm good at, um I can I can succeed at each level. Yeah, it would definitely have to be my uh my debut against Finland, um, for Ireland. Uh, it was amazing. It's something that I've always dreamt of since I was a kid, um, playing for the Republic of Ireland and Going to games when I was younger with my dad and in Lansdowne Road, um, being buzzing the whole day in school, knowing that I was going to watch Arden later on, and then obviously to have to, to, to have done that now and to be one of them players, um, that has played for my country, it's it's amazing and yeah, it's a dream come true. Lovely, Yeah, it was a bit surreal, I suppose. Um, obviously, coming on at an early stage was was amazing for me. Um, to be to, to, supposed to be given the backing of the gaffer to put me in at in, in, in such a big game at at Wembley. Um, I think Wembley itself uh, is amazing. I'd never played there before, so I was just really really looking forward to to the game. And obviously, the game didn't pan out the way we wanted it to go. But I think as a whole, we took a lot of positives from the game, and uh, it was a step in the right direction. Um, not really. I think, as a player, I wanna I wanna play against the best players in the world because I wanna try to be the best that I can. And I think that's the only way you can improve as a player is is testing yourself against the best opposition. So, when you see the the names in the team sheet of of world class players and you're gonna be playing up against them, that's something that I really look forward to and something that I set I suppose a challenge for myself to to come out on top and and win my individual battles with uh with that player. Um, I suppose with the current circumstances of the world and and the way football is picking up injuries, it's it's it, it was gonna happen. Um, obviously, we seem to have got uh, I suppose a bit worse luck compared to some other nations. But I think that's just the way football is at the moment. The way the world is, um, we're kind of having to learn to adapt to this. Um, and yeah, I suppose we're 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 we all feel like we're in a safe environment here. Um, with Ireland in our own little bubble and um. 
I think, yeah, like I said, that's just the way football is. We've just got to adapt to it and uh, and move on. Thank you. Have you got Will Dalton there from Virgin? No? All right, we'll go on to Damien Spellman then, please. Yeah, um, I think we know how much it means to him and how much it means to the group as well to uh to do well from obviously having played previously under him at uh under twenty one level. I knew what's required from him. Um, I knew what a good manager he is and how 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 he plays will 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 really benefit this country in the in in the time going forward. So um, I think everyone knows the task at hand. Everyone wants to do well for the gaffer. Everyone wants to do well for their country, which is another big thing so um i feel like the results uh are going to become more positive um and as i said it's, it's it's just like a work in progress at the moment um everything takes time and i truly believe that um the results will start picking up and we'll start getting more positive results paul fantasy from the 42 please Um, I suppose ever since I signed for West Brom and I, I, I made the move across the water, um, I kind of said to myself that this is an opportunity that I can't turn down. There's a lot of young lads and girls in, in my position that that would that would love to be where I was. Um, so I knew that I was I was given given an opportunity and I had to take it because I mean, like I said, how lucky I was to be put in that opportunity. So I knew. That my background, if if I keep working hard and keeping improving, I could uh, I could I could make a career for myself. And Ed Leahy, please. Um, yeah, it's obviously been uh, a lot easier for me. Um, having seen the lads previously in the twenty one step up before me and, and, and make their way into the senior team. Um, obviously when I'm stepping in knowing that they're here and as well as the senior players here, they, they they've been great with all the young lads. Um, they've kind of taught us along the way and, and gave us little pointers and stuff. And yeah, they've been unbelievable with us. And yeah, I do think when COVID settles down, um. It obviously made things a lot easier here um, in the international setup and uh, improve things going forward.